It's new pony day. Very excited. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. First of March, welcome back to the vlog. For you, it's probably Wednesday evening. I am vlogging because we have a new arrival today. I alluded you to it on my last week's vlog that I have been offered a new horse to retrain. So today I thought I'd go through the background, the decision process, and then introduce you to them. I don't even know, because I've not even seen them. Come and play Pony Roulette with everyday eventers i need help me again in the feed room let's have a little chat as to how we got to this stage where i am currently awaiting a new horse to be delivered so i lost mo four weeks ago now in tragic circumstances it wasn't the plan that you know it's never your plan but it was never the plan that i set out for this year was all about competing two horses with the potential to get one of them. I wanted to get Reg to Bicton and I just wanted to take Mo for his very first one day event. You know what, it's not meant to be. Uh, but it has left a hole. It's left very difficult management with three horses and all our horses like to be in company with each other. So it's very difficult when we've got one in the stable and two in the field because the one in the stable is shouting all the time to the others and if you put one in the field and two in the stables then the other one's tearing around the field and we do not want a repeat of any injuries whatsoever so four actually works really well for us i am very lucky that because of reginald and subsequently mo i have gained some little connections into the racing world and there is a lot of horses that need good homes we talk about the X-Race horse, I absolutely adore them, I think they are versatile, I think they can turn the hand to anything, they are kind, they are loving, they are really good horses to have around, however, you know, there is some reservations with them. Because they're designed to go fast in a straight line, we've bred problems into them, so we have issues, you know, it's quite common for uh, thoroughbreds in particular to have problems with their feet, because we don't necessarily need them to have mega strong feet. Uh, like you did with a horse that worked in the field etc so you know we've created a horse that's created its own problems however they are all they're all still top of my list for any horse that i would have there is some upsides for them to have gone out experienced things and just they tend to be i find they tend to be a little bit more saner and less spooky than uh, ones that haven't. Now, that might be just been my experience. I've only had a few. People will probably tell me wrong. Anyway, so the new recruit is an ex-race horse. I was asked by this um, trainer of the horse to see if I could offer a good home. Now, the one thing that, and I will say now, like a caveat now, I've had some fabulous experiences with people in the racing industry and they genuinely care, the ones I've dealt with, genuinely care where their horses are being put after racing so i always think i can kind of offer a home that they like in that the a they can follow the progress bearing in mind i still have uh, reggie's breeder that follows him avidly and i speak to a regular on his updates and she loves to see what he's doing so i think they really like to follow their journey i think they like to see them in the forever home because you get them ridiculously cheap and that's another debate isn't it on the price of now the price has increased on x-ray sources because there are dealers out there that now purchase these horses from the trainers put the work in and then sell them for a profit i don't think there's anything wrong with that you know there's people that are very knowledgeable out there that's doing a job i can offer them a lifelong home where i'm not a dealer so they won't get sold on and whatever they may choose to be obviously i like eventing and i want to be able to get to chatsworth and so it's always in my mind when i'm looking at an x-ray horse that that's the vision that's what i want to do but if said horse gets delivered and that's not what they want to do, then we'll find something else. You know, I'll find something else that's their strength. I won't necessarily try and push them into a pigeonhole that doesn't suit them. And I always make a promise that when I make a commitment to get a horse or to purchase a horse, they're here for life. You know, caveat, 
to my financial situation. Obviously, if I was destitute on the street, um, I'd live in my car and the horses would still be here. <sighs> yeah, I actually probably would. Um, so I make that commitment that no matter what they are, they'll, they'll stay for life and I will look after them to the end of their life. Uh, I've got Cherry, who is not a riding horse, but I wanted to give her the life that any animal deserves in that she can just live her days out in the field. Not every animal is meant to be a riding horse, but like I've rambled on. So it's an X-Race horse that is coming and let's give you some details. So at 16-1, Dark Bay, finished racing October 2022. Very, very slow, really not bred, well, obviously bred for racing, but really not head in the game for being a successful race horse. Ran seven times, back, back of the pack. Uh, now being in field, been in the field since then. It's a mare. Shocker. Me and Tan spoke long and hard about when we looked at getting another one on mare versus gelding, and we actually think that a mare would fit better in our herd because of the personalities we've got. They are en route. Transport has gone this morning at half past seven. They may possibly be there by now. So I thought I'd vlog the day and show you her arrival. She's called Molly. Um, I haven't viewed her at all. I have got her from pictures and I trust the trainers that I speak to as I did with the boys 100% and they've never told me what isn't correct so I quite like that they're very honest so I knew Reg was a severe windsucker before he even came and I took that risk so I understand what they're saying to me I've been told she's a kind mare she can be sharp when she was being ridden which you know I don't mind I kind of like that she's kind on the ground she's good to handle no vices um, so no, I've not seen it. I've not tried her. <laughs> Think of that what you will. I've never tried a horse that I bought. Two reasons. One, I don't even know what I'm looking for sometimes. So what is the point of going up there to possibly try a horse that for whatever reason loves its environment because it's been there forever and then you get it home and it's totally different. Two, you never know what you're getting anyway when you view them. So I'm happy to run that risk. She has cost me minimal amounts so i'm not going to go into values but my electricity bill was more this month than what i have purchased molly for uh so she's molly racing name go beyond and, and then i'm going to get a stable ready and everything and then we'll we'll vlog her arrival really hope you want to follow my journey with a youngster again she's three sorry so she is three but turns four in march so technically for a thoroughbred if you go by the thoroughbred age and she's four already because they always turn the, the age in january yeah who knows what'll turn up Maybe my tech room now luckily because of the size that molly is and hopefully her stature i have a lot of things already that will fit her so rugs tack head collar so it's been a really minimal outlay for me which is good at the minute i'm trying to find a head collar and some rugs etc that'll be useful for her She's not clipped, so she is in her full winter woolies, so she will need probably a minimal rugging, just something to keep her dry. If you can hear that, that's Cherry and her treat ball. Something to keep her dry and something to keep her a little bit warm at night when it drops cold. And we should be good. Tack, etc. That's a whole other month's time because I want her to. I think it's very important to get them to settle and to understand that I believe that takes a good three to four weeks for them to just get used to their new surroundings without any pressure of work etc so that's what we're going to do so tax not an imminent, imminent however a head collar is so i'm going to try and search for one and have a look through these drugs head collar located it needs a wash but that will do lovely and also my groundwork stuff because it's always good to do that with a baby I have just been informed she is 15 minutes away. She is 15 minutes away. Are we ready, girls, to meet your baby sister? Had we met before in sync chemistry? Why so glad you came?
goodness, she has arrived. She is. Hi, Molly Moo. This is your life now, mate. You're going to be a vlog star. Are you going to absolutely love being on the camera? She is incredibly sweet. So very sweet. Kind. A little bit skittish, but she's three. Like, oh, so very loving. Welcome home, Mol. Welcome home, Molly. I feel like you're just going to fit in that perfect, my darling. She's a good stamp. So pony roulette worked. She's healthy, happy, likes to be handled. She's got, I don't know if you can see now, but she's got um, a rug on. So we popped that. <laughs> Do you want treats? She's a bit of a treat snaffler, so she's obviously used to being fed from the hand. Oh my gosh. So this is Molly. This is race name, Go Beyond. Where are we going to go beyond? Do you want to go around chats? Do you want to go around chats? Oh my gosh. Just wait. There's a glow up definitely working with this one. Um, right, that's first day. We'll come back tomorrow and vlog what my plans are for this beautiful baby. You landed on your feet, balls. I love her. Oh my gosh. Third time of doing this and an absolute cracker again. Recommend it to anybody. Day two. She slept well. Um, it's 5am because I've got a riding lesson at 6am. Oh, it's not with this one. This morning. Say good morning to YouTube, Molly. What I'm going to do this morning is just weigh tape her to get a starting weight because she has come severely under condition, which is not unusual for um, ex-racers when they finish racing. They usually come severely under condition, so we're just going to give her a weight tape. So you just have to bear with us in that this is not the standard of what any of my horses look like. Hi, you are nosy. Uh, this is where she attacks me. No, she's just after food. She's uh, very, very hungry. So we have, she's very clean, so I'm impressed. Um, I'm also gonna change her rug to a lighter weight rug because until I've sorted the field out, I'm, I don't want her to go out in the field until I've sorted it out because of what happened with Mo. So there's a fence line that needs blocking off for a baby. Um, she's staying in, so Red is going to keep her company. And I've got a little yard outside that she can stretch her legs in for the next couple of days. And then you can go and introduce yourself to the herd and hopefully be sweet. So let's have a look at you this morning. Do you want to sniff the tape? Can you see this? This is a tape. It's not gonna hurt you. Good girl. Oh, you're so good. Good girl. Good girl. I know. So good. Let's have a look at you. Wow. She is 470. Wow. Um, she needs to put on <laughs> a lot of weight. As you can see, she ribs are visible. Her back end is very visible. I keep trying to just see, because she's obviously, she's new to me, where I can touch her that she's comfortable with. Um, and she seems to be pretty comfortable everywhere, which is lovely. If you're not comfortable, you can tell me, okay? And I will listen. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, very clever girl. I think it's just finding your boundaries with them. See? That wasn't too bad. So that is us. Day two. Everything's settled in. 
you want to follow this little lady's journey, please like, comment and subscribe. I'm sure <laughs> it's going to be really exciting, fun, scary, but I think she's going to have one hell of a glow up, aren't you? Good morning. Thanks for watching. See you next week. races when they finish racing um that's my camera <laughs> i think she's very nosy